everybody. Welcome back to Tuesday's House of Games. Lovely to have you here. What a lovely week we're having as well. Four great contestants. One of them is going to win this awful trophy right here. Who are our players this week? They are Lem Sisse. Hi, Richard. Sam Quick. Hello. Kirsty Gallagher. And Larry Dean. Hey, everybody. Sam Quick. What a win yesterday. That was yeah. impressive, wasn't it? Everyone was good, but Lem kept giving you points as well. <laughs> I, I couldn't have done it without my top assist here. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's I a mean, pleasure. yeah, thank you so much. It's good to serve. But well, nice, <laughs> nice to get a win under your belt, though. I know, pressure's off. It is a bit, because Come they're on all... the show, got it in. Got they're it all the good as well, isn't it? So you need to get one Lem. <gasps> yes. Uh, yeah, you kept buzzing in and giving half the answer to people. I did, but I've got to say, uh, about Sam, that you got in quickly to get the answer. So it wasn't that I actually gave it to Sam. You got the answer before anybody else did, and that's that's the win, yeah. so it's not So really... it's all those hours of Xbox. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's the sport, but you did give away all the answers, lad. I mean, you... <laughs> I you did! Was, you were still <laughs> very much at fault. I did give away the answers, yeah, yeah you're right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Kirsty, let's correct. take a look at the, uh, the weekly leaderboards. Just two points between everybody there. Four, all the way down to two, but it's going to be a close week, isn't it? Having sat through that Monday. Yeah, I mean it's it's such fun. You've got to, you know, I've just, but I've got to switch on. Come on, Kirsty, do fun, it. Fun, but that, competitive. Yeah, well, I am competitive, but that yeah. first round, it's a tricky one, isn't it? You've mm. got to get off the mark. But it's great. And that's it, Larry. Shall we take a look at the prizes? So yesterday, <laughs> uh, Sam yeah. won a fondue set. Today, you could take home one of these. And you don't have far to Ooh. take it. Oh, uh, We've got the cool box, the... Uh, <laughs> thanks for your ooze, everybody. The cool box, the watering can, the yo-yo, the dartboard, or the flask. Who's what do picking you think, the yo-yo? Come on. I mean, surely no one. I, I feel that like this is, a, like, a trick question, cos I feel if I was to go for the dartboard, that would be... Comes across that I have some vendetta against yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, well, that's OK. <laughs> People do. By Friday, you will do. Yeah, OK, cool. I tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the dartboard. You've got to go for the dartboard, <laughs> haven't you? Dartboard, Kirsty. I would like the watering can. Sam. It's got to be the dartboard, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's, pretty, the cool. that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Lem. I would go for the uh, ice box. It's ice box. Yeah. yeah. Why, isn't it? Cool it's... box. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Shall we get on and play today's House of Games? Let's, Let's do, do it, it, shall we? Our first round is <laughs> the answers in the question. Lem, I am going to start with you. Okay. I have a question for you, uh, and it will lead you to a vegetable. OK, so I need you to tell me your vegetable. I'll give you a clue. Somewhere within the clue, there will also be some capital letters which are an anagram of the answer. So which vegetable is this, please? Anyone who gets it wrong, by the way, you can buzz in on this round. This versatile foodstuff provides the top to a shepherd's pie. It's a potato. <laughs> it's a potato. There you go. That's great. Potato, I know. Yeah. I love that I'm giving one of Britain's leading wordsmiths <laughs> a, a really simple anagram of potato to start the round off. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Sam, a vegetable for you. Open a tin of this vegetable and you'll find only the tender kernels. Who knows where the cores went? Sweet corn. Sweet corn? It is. Well played to our question setters there and well played, Sam. Quick, Kirsty, I have a vegetable for you. OK, lovely. <laughs> You may think this vegetable is awful. Recoil at the thought of it and so on, but smother it in cheese sauce and you might change your mind. Cauliflower. Cauliflower? Delicious. Mm, yes, cauliflower, cauliflower cheese. cheese. Cauliflower, as I call it, awful recoil. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Larry, are we going to go four out of four on vegetables? Here's yours. Have you heard my accent? <laughs> 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 Topping up your vitamin K, grab some cash, Nip out to the greengrocer and get yourself a bag of this healthy plant. You know this, Larry. Uh, is it missing a letter? I keep thinking it's one thing and it's yeah, not. Same. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Are you all yeah. thinking it's parsnip? Yeah. Yeah, so it's the same. It's a bag, it's a plant. Oh, it's a bag. Oh, yeah. Oh. You get a bag of it. Yeah. Um, my base guess, since it's not parsnip, Passnip. <laughs> Passnip. <laughs> it is not. Anyone want to buzz in and nick it? Oh. Kirsty. Oh. Spinach. Spinach. Oh. We were looking for spinach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> spinach. sorry, Larry. Spinach. <laughs> uh, well played, Kirsty. Spinach. Uh, we go back to you, Lem. Our next category is crime mm. dramas. Which crime dramas are these, please? Mrs. Hudson sometimes locks her doors when her Baker Street tenants go rogue in this global hit series. 
Sherlock, I feel like you've had quite easy ones then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be right. Occasionally it happens when you're in seat one, but uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is Sherlock. Well done. Sam, one for you. Despite its title, this series doesn't feature aliens from another planet, though there's a bit of time travel involved. Crime drama? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Have you got this at home? Yeah. Oh, Lem's got it. Yeah, I think do I do what have. you did on Monday. No, I'm, 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 I'd love to steal from <laughs> you, actually. Just throw it out there and I'll nick it. <laughs> see, you see how he learns. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah. Should we time you out, Sam? Yeah, I don't watch a lot of TV. Anyone want to buzz in? <laughs> yes, Lem. Life on Mars. Is it Life oh. on Mars? Yeah. It is Life yeah. on Mars. Well Thank done, Lem. Kirsty, a crime drama for you. The police officer in this Neil Cross series is battling so many demons, events inevitably hurtle towards a troubling conclusion. Oh, oh, no. Look at Sam. She's no. like, she wants that point. Oh, back. my. Um... Oh. Oh, Lem's on it. Sam Hang on. It. Hang we... on a minute. There's a singer from our age. <laughs> well, from my he age. He loves it, doesn't he? Yes. He, he loves singer. it. He's he can't cannot, help himself. He cannot help himself. I just said a singer from my age. I wasn't um... giving it. Amazing. <laughs> What kind of music? <laughs> uh, soul, soul. Soul? Yeah. Should we time you out, Kirsty? Do you know, I don't know it. Yeah, Thanks, we'll, guys. We'll Thanks. We'll time you out. <laughs> Sam. Yay! That's so out of order. Is it Luther? It's oh, Luther. Oh, Van Tromp. Luther Van Tromp. Luther. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> and I love Luther. Uh, yeah, Luther, the, uh, the Idris yeah. Elba show. Larry, I have a crime drama for you to work out, with, with or without Lem's help. <laughs> However Hopefully we want to do it. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this series didn't half let us get stressed out over whether Detective Stella Gibson would track down a serial killer in Belfast. Not many letters there. No, I'm, no. I'm, even, I'm even trying to think of if I was just to completely... Yes. If I was to, to ignore the letters, what would I think of if yeah. I was yeah. crime stuff in Belfast? And there's nothing that's not a documentary um, <laughs> that springs to mind. I can't think. I, can't, I have no idea. Maybe it's this something. Oh. 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 <gasps> oh. 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 Oh.
it might be just name a Hollywood icon and name an Ivy League school and... and, and Wish for the best. We'll Meryl Street. Pal would go for Meryl, Meryl Street. Cool. There's a Hollywood icon. Ivy League. Is this Ivy League? Uh, so this isn't... This is in America. Yeah, Ivy, yeah. Ivy League is an American yeah. uh, idea. Yeah. Harvard. Harvard. So should yeah. we try Meryl Street Harvard as your first guess? Yeah. yeah. Meryl Street Harvard. Is that Emma Watson's password? It is not, and you have neither part correct. Uh, so you need to change both bits. Let's choose any uh, Hollywood icon. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Well, let's, uh, let's try Marilyn and then try a... Uh, Marilyn. What's the other one that do you say about Harvard? Harvard, um, Princeton. Princeton. Princeton could be the one. Cool. So try Marilyn yeah. Princeton? Yeah. OK, Marilyn Princeton is that Emma Watson's password. <laughs> it is not, but you have one part correct. I think oh, we Marilyn's have one part correct. correct. Yeah. You think Marilyn's correct? Yeah. And what's the other place? Okay. Harvard, Princeton, or Princeton. I'm trying to think of. I'm, I'm actually genuinely thinking of like t-shirts. You know, when people yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. Yeah. Um, yeah. Princeton. Yale. Yale. Thank you, man. Marilyn Yale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marilyn Yale. Yeah. yeah. Just go Marilyn Yale. What do you think of home on that one? Yeah. Let's find out, Sherry. Marilyn Yale. This is your last attempt. Is that Emma Watson's password? Ah. Oh, I thought you had it. I was about yeah, to say his hand then. What I would have gone for. What was Emma Watson's password? Oh, oh Brown. Oh, it was Brown. 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 Oh, she went to right. Brown. Oh, yeah, okay, Marilyn Monroe. Right. Yeah, Brown. I'd have yeah. taken Marilyn Brown. Very well done if you got that one at home. Yeah, My Week with Marilyn was the uh, was the Emma Watson movie. Very well done if you oh. got that. Kirsty, Sam, whose password would you like to guess? Tammy. Shall we? Yeah. Purely oh, yeah. strategic, tactical. And she's sports. Yeah. They're sports. Yeah. She's oh, right. Because yeah. no, that was their yeah. next yeah. strong they're, one. They're yeah. nicking it off you as well. They are, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Again, a gift, Lem. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Tanny Gray Thompson, <laughs> lovely Tanny lady. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Legend. Yeah, she's a legend. <laughs> the two password hints for Tanny Gray Thompson's account are You were born in which country of the UK? And in which city did you first compete at the Paralympic Games in 1988? Oh. Oh. 1988 was. Seoul. It was Seoul, wasn't it? Was it Seoul? Wales. Wales. Seoul. Seoul. She's Welsh. Right, let's do it. Wales. Seoul, please. Wales. Seoul, we think. What do you think at home on this one? Let's take a look. <laughs> Wales. Seoul. Is that Tanny Gray Thompson's password? <laughs> First time Yay! it is. <laughs> well played. Wales. Seoul. Nicely done. Good girl. Uh, gents, we are immediately back to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whose password would you like to get? Kate Bush or Pierce Brosnan? I think Pierce Brosnan, probably. Yeah. Okay. That was the one Larry wanted in the yes. first one. So you both had a choice now. So Pierce Brosnan's internet password is the combination of these two hints. What is the title of the first film in which you played James Bond? Golden. And how many official Bond films did you star in altogether? OK. So we've got Golden Eye. See, so this looks like a guy who know, knows his Bond. And there was um, Tomorrow Never Dies. And was there another one? Golden Eye, and I think there's another one, so I'd say the Golden Eye 4. Golden Eye 4? Yeah. Do you agree, Lem? I'm just happy. I'm just <laughs> following, <laughs> following you, Larry. Yeah. So I'm happy there. It's the first time Lem hasn't given an answer <laughs> for, for two days. Uh, so Larry uh, and Lem are saying Golden Eye 4? Yes. Golden Eye 4. Is that Pierce Brosnan's password? It is. Well done. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, <laughs> you know your bond. I love yeah. that. Knows his uh, bond. The world is not enough. Was the one film you didn't, ah, uh, mentioned. Well played, Larry. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks. That's yeah. a lovely free point, isn't it? Very <laughs> <laughs> nice. You take that. Yeah. It's about. To, you know what? It's Thank about time you got a free point. I think it is. I yeah, worked yeah. for it. Yeah, you really I have. I worked for it. Uh, Kirsty and Sam, we are left with <laughs> Kate Bush. Yay! So her password is the combination of these two hints. Your first UK number one single was inspired by a novel by which of the Bronte sisters? And your single, oh. Running Up That Hill, peaked at which chart position in 1985, uh, the year it was first released? How many Brontes are there? Three or four. <laughs> let's, not, let's not ask that. Um, yeah, Charles, Charles, Emily. I think Emily. It's Emily. Emily. Your single, Running Up That Hill. Mm. What's, your fate? What's your lucky number? I don't really have one, but should we... Uh, peaked at which chart position? It's like, it's going to be like a seven I mean, it was, I, seven I mean, I, what age was I? So I was nine, and I remember it pretty prominently um, back in the day. Definitely top ten. So top ten. I'm, I want to say five for some reason. Should we just do okay, it? We've got five. Goes, let's do I it. I mean, for goodness sake. I mean, so, yeah, should we go Emily so, five? Yeah, let's have a go. Well, we Come on, Kate. On this. Emily five. <laughs> is that Kate Bush's password? <laughs> ah! 
Oh, neither. It's not, but you have one part correct. Oh, now which part? <laughs> Emily. Emily. Oh, seven. Ooh. Three. <laughs> Should we go for two? Go on, go two. Yep, Emily two. Emily two. <laughs> Emily two. What do we think at home is Kate Bush's password? Emily two. Come on. No. Oh. It is not, but you still have one part. Emily. Okay. So well done, see. Emily. Right. You know, Emily is locked in now. Did it, yeah. did it go to number one? I mean, I, I was only nine, I can't, you know, but I do remember it everywhere. Come on, Kirsty, you know this. Pete You're too young. Chart position. <laughs> I think we say number one. It's had, has she had? I know she's, re, you know, having a great time at the moment with the... Yeah. I, I said, do you know, I think it's like, no. it says Pete. No, no. So you're thinking number one. No, she smashed. didn't go to number one. Oh. I've just remembered. That's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah, that's because what I mean. she's now making the money mm. she should have. So maybe it was like ten. Ten, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to ask you to settle on one of those. Right. Okay. God, it's just so random. Ten. Should we say ten? Ten. Oh no! Don't be number one. Okay. So we're saying ten. Emily ten. It's our last guess before you locked out. Emily ten. Is that Kate Bush's password? Oh, sorry. Not, it's not. It wasn't number one, was it? Because she, she'd had that, the gap between one and the other. That was the whole thing, yeah. This, I think. What What's is the, the password? <laughs> Emily oh, three, really? it was. Took 37 years to get to number one. That's. Oh! Yeah. It's so uh, difficult, that. Been Stranger yeah. Things. That's the end of that round. Well played, everyone. Sam and Larry, if you will swap back, please. Pleasure. <laughs> Do you well, know that? Yeah, everybody so, on that. That's a funny one, isn't it's it? It's so difficult, though. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Mm. Larry, you have two. Kirsty and Sam, three points each. Liam with four. Mm. I think everyone got one point in that round, didn't they? So we're yeah. exactly where we were before. Three rounds to go before we give away our second prize of the week. Our next round is... <laughs> Bowel movement. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you some words. You just have to tell me what connects them. However, every single vowel in that word has been changed to a different vowel. So you've got to work out what these words are, buzz in when you know what connects them. Lose. Murgo. Hemar. Oh. Bert. Oh. Yes, Lem. It's, um, it's, uh, The Simpsons. It is The Simpsons. So Lisa, here comes Lose. Marge wow. is Murgo, Homer wow. is Hemar, and Bart no, is Bert. You've got to get it, haven't <laughs> you? See? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. from The Simpsons. OK, here we go. <laughs> little I was, little I was the very there. slow there. <laughs> is that one just a practice, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a practice, but we give a point to, to Lem. Or Lim, as I call him in this round. Oh. Uh, Lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Lamb. Uh, here's your next one. Spudas. Heorts. Diamonds and clubs. Yes, oh, Kirsty. Cards. Play cards. Oh. They are suits yeah. of cards. Pack of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Playing cards suits. Yeah. Spades becomes Spudas. Hearts is Fjords. Diamonds is Diamonds and clubs is clubs. Uh, next one. Lotta. Macho. Yes, Sam. Are they coffees? Uh, oh, nice. Are they coffees? Oh, wow. They are coffees. <laughs> well, so nice. I drink a lot of them. She loves coffee. Be, yeah. Lotta is latte, <laughs> matcha is mocha, aspressi would have been espresso, and uh, cupacconi would have been cappuccino. Good. <laughs> Next one. What connects these? Jumas Hint. Mox Vastoppen. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Sam. F1 drivers. Yes. Uh, they are F1 champions, in fact. Jensen Bitten would have been Jensen Button and Lawus Hamilton would have been Lewis Hamilton. Formula One Very drivers. Good. Well done, <laughs> Sam. Next ones. And down. Urktech. Oh. Yes, Lem. Oceans. Are they Arctic, oceans? Yeah. Pacific. They are the Indian and the Arctic there, and Kukofok would have been the Pacific, and Otlontak would have been Atlantic. Final question in this round. Liga. Lurcraft. Yes, Lem. Video game characters. Computer, computer games, games. Are, yeah, absolutely yes. right. Or computer game characters. So Liaga was Luigi. Oh, uh, Laircraft is Lara Croft. Uh, Sunak, though Hodju Hog, is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and Dinkei King is Donkey Kong. That's the end of the round. Let's take a look at what it's done to the leaderboards. 
the scores are like this. Larry, you have two. Kirsty, you got four. Sam has got five. He's got a two-point lead now. Lem Sisse with seven. Interesting. That's he good. loves a word round. He loves a word round. Two <laughs> rounds to go. Our next round is... <laughs> Flamingo, pot plant, middle march. Now, in this round, it's like the old game where you said, I went to the shops and bought some peas. I went to the shop and I bought oh. some peas and an umbrella. Oh. So in this round, not only to give me the answer, you have to give me all the answers we've had so far in the round, OK? Oh, in the correct goodness. order. Wow. All right, starting with the first one. The first one is easy, it's just fingers on buzzers. Just answer me this, please. Silhurst Park is the home ground of which London football club? Yes, Kirsty. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is correct. See, the round starts nice and simply. Nice. Yeah. But from now on, it must be <laughs> Crystal Palace and the answer. Oh. Okay. Next question. Which 1973 album by Pink Floyd has cover art depicting light being refracted through a prism? Yes, Larry. Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon. Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon <sighs> is correct. Well done. Next one. What is the name of the donkey in the 1926 A.A. Milne book, Winnie the Pooh? Yes, Kirsty. Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon and Eeyore. Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon, Eeyore, That's correct. Nice. Great work. Uh, next one. Which sitcom starred Jennifer Saunders and Joanna Lumley as Adina and Patsy? Yes, Lem. It was absolutely fabulous. Yeah, incorrect. I'm oh! <laughs> so sorry, Sam. Absolutely fabulous. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh, you're the way Larry! Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon, Eeyore, and absolutely fabulous. It's oh, correct. Oh, well done. Oh, well done, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Next oh. question. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. In Western astrology, what is the star sign of a person born on the 1st of August? Yes, Kirsty. Selhurst Park. Dark Side of the Moon. You said Selhurst Park, Kirsty. Oh, that's why! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I why. cannot believe I said that. Yes, Larry. Crystal Palace. Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> ER. Absolutely fabulous. Leo. Correct, oh, Larry. Oh. Well done. <laughs> so, sorry, Next mate. one. <laughs> Domingo is the Spanish word for which day of the week? Yes, Kirsty. Crystal Palace, Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> Eeyore, absolutely fabulous. Leo, Saturday. Is incorrect. No, oh! it's, what did I do? Is it Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Palace. I don't speak Spanish. Dark Side of the Moon. Eeyore, absolutely fabulous. Mm. Leo, Sunday. Is Sunday. the it's right Sunday. answer. <laughs> Kirsty, I'm so sorry. Final question in this round. What is the abbreviation for the genetic material deoxyribonucleic acid? Yes, Sam, good luck. Crystal Palace. Well done. Dark Side of the Moon. Eeyore, absolutely fabulous. Leo, Sunday, DNA. Sam, quick, well everybody. Well done, good girl. Good girl. Well played. Good oh. round, everyone. That was fun. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? It is very, very close, close. indeed. <gasps> take a look at this. Two points yeah. between the lot of you. Larry with five, Kirsty six, Sam, and Lem seven each, with one round to go. Two points between Brilliant. them all, with one round to go before we find our second champion of the week. Shall we do it? Let's play. Answer smash. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Any wow. one of the four of you could be our champion here. Everyone ready? Fingers oh. on buzzers. Good luck, one and all. Your first category today is footwear. <laughs> Those will be the pictures. Oh. Liz McLaren and Kerry Katona were two of the original members of which chart-topping pop group? That is Sam. Atomic Kitten Heels. Atomic Kitten Heels? Yeah. Good. It is Atomic Kitten, Kitten Heels, Atomic Kitten Heels. Next clue, next picture. In which short story by Washington Irving does the title character fall asleep for 20 years? Yeah. Yes, that is Lem. It is uh, 
the title character that falls asleep for 20 years is Sleeping Beauty. It's incorrect, I'm oh. amazing. And you, you need to tie it into that as well. Yes, Kirsty. It's not Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. It is not, I'm afraid. No, you both lose a point, it. anybody? Oh, we ah, lose a point. I forgot. Oh. Yeah. So, Teddy, I'm looking for Rip Van Winkle Pickers. <laughs> They're Rip Van Winkle, Winkle pickers. and Winkle oh, Pickers. Well, Rip Van, Rip Van Winkle Pickers. Picture. Next clue, next picture. Helena and Bertram are the main characters in which Shakespeare play? No one's risking this one. Well, uh... So, Teddy, I'm looking for All's Well That Ends Wellington Boots. Oh, that's hard. All's Well That, that Ends hard. Well and Wellington Boots. Oh, yeah. Next category. British mm. actors will be the pictures. Which song was the first UK chart hit for AHA in 1985 and a number one single for A1 in 2000? Lem. Take on Mira Sayal. Take on Mira Sayal. Yeah, yeah. It is well done. Take on me, Mira Sayal. Take on Mira Sayal. Next clue, next picture. In colloquial English, what does the abbreviation TLC commonly stand for? Nobody was risking it. No. I was looking for tender, loving Carrie Mulligan. Yeah, that's oh. it. Tender, oh. loving Carrie Mulligan. I couldn't, I Mulligan. couldn't remember her surname. Same, same, same. Ah. Next clue, next picture. Which former play school presenter was elevated to the House of Lords in 2010? <laughs> Kersey. Fluella Benjamini Driver. <laughs> Fluella Benjamini Driver. Sorry. Here's is the right answer. Fluella Benjamin and Mini Driver. Fluella Benjamini Driver. Any more? No more today. No more today. That is the end of the round. That's the end of the show as well. Sam was our champion yesterday. Our champion today? By one point, it is yeah. Sam Quick. Sam, well done. You literally just sat back in that last round. I'd like to think that was tactical, and but I just didn't have a clue on anything. People lost, so. but, but three points between everybody mm -hmm. today. It's good. Super, super close. Sam, two in a row, though. Well, Pretty good going. Uh, another prize for you. Uh, what would you like to go for? Can you get me the watering can? <laughs> <laughs> you really tempted me. <laughs> will the watering can be up for grabs in future games? It will games? not. It's going away. <gasps> no, get your dartboard. Dart 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 You've got to get your dartboard. Come on. OK. You just purely to... on the poster, otherwise I would have given it. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, after the credits, we'll give you, we'll give you the watering can as well. In fact, Kirsty, you can have the watering Yay! can. And then, we'll, Thank you, Richard. and then we'll see how big it is. Thank you. OK, so Sam Quick wins the House Against Dartboard. Yes. Kirsty Gallagher, for various reasons, has the House Against Watering Can. Oh, I love um, it. The weekly leaderboard now. It's good news for Sam. It's been close, but uh, she oh. has eight points up the top there. Lem, Kirsty, and Larry all very close behind. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Look forward to it ever so much. See you there. We'll see you there as well on the House Against. You've got to do the finger. <laughs> I just love this. Does yeah, that not make you feel cool. a little bit uncomfortable that people are throwing darts at you? Do you know what? I can, I can pretend they're throwing darts at Sue Perkins or Gok Wan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>